I wanted to do a uh, video on uh, Mosin Nagant um, bolt disassembly and I also wanted to show you how to check uh, firing pin protrusion using the uh, field gauge that comes with the gun uh, but despite all the random kits I have laying around uh, I seem to have misplaced it so I'm gonna have to do the best I can with what I've got I've got a, a K31 bolt here um, the reason I have this bolt out I wanted to comment just a little bit on the Mosin and Gant bolt design it's as you'll see when we get it apart um, it's really complicated in the big sense of things um, it just doesn't make sense to me how such a, a simple gun could have such a complicated bolt design and also all throughout this bolt design if you look at all the machining and everything that they did like uh, here's a good good spot to look at see all these like nasty machining marks it's just sloppy work but if you look at a K31 bolt I mean everything is made like precision there's no burrs there's no you know random crap there's nothing it's just it's built you know really well so that's um, basically what this video is going to be about is disassembling uh, the bolt and getting it back together and all that good stuff. To start off, to take this thing apart, you have to imagine kind of how it goes in the gun. Um, obviously, when you chamber around, this whole assembly pops down when you've chambered around. And that's how, you know, how it's going to look. Well, if you look, you'll see that the, the firing pin protrudes out of the front of the bolt face. The gauge that you're going to use is the field gauge that comes with it and it's going to have a no-go and a go. Uh, basically, um, well, you, can ha you, you can have not enough protrusion, but the problem you're looking to check is excessive protrusion because you don't want to puncture a primer and have all that gas pop back in your face. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the gauge here right now, but I'm going to show you how to take this balls apart. Um, the, way that I, the way that I just uh, did right there, just hold it in your hand, pull back on this just a little bit rotate it this comes right off okay this rotates apart just like this set these to the side okay now this is where you are gonna need a block of wood like I've got right here um, best thing to do I mean everybody does it different but I'll take it in my left hand and I just push down what you're doing is you're compressing the spring that's in the bolt and this bad boy just threads right off or screws off okay now don't let go of this or it'll pop back you just let the pressure off and then you'll see your springs in there you got your got ginormous firing pin that this thing has you know like I said the uh, the design of this bolt is incredibly complicated considering that the Russians produce millions of these rifles I mean anyway alright so going back together exact opposite okay like this compress the spring now you'll notice that on the back of every single Mosin and Gaunt bolt there's a slot cut that slot is there for a reason uh, what they do is they get it set the way it needs to be to have proper uh, firing pin protrusion and then what they do is they mark the bolt with that slot to uh, show the proper way to put it back together okay and that's basically all it is if you'll notice it's generally in line with the the scratch that they've put on the back of the bolt it's kind of a rough way to do it but it worked for them and that's what they you know had been doing for years and uh, every every Mosin and Gaunt's gonna have that slot cut on the back and that's only for a uh, firing pin protrusion that has nothing to do with headspace or any other factor you'll notice there's a little uh, ridge right there you just want to line it up with that slot here on the bolt face and then that goes back together then uh, you're gonna need to uh, um, you know bring this piece back over as before ba basically it's the exact reverse of putting it together or uh, taking it apart rather now here's where uh, here's where the um, the way Mosin and Gantz are made is kinda weird because you see that these ridges here need to line up with this piece so you almost have to kind of like twerk the damn thing to get it together you know you kind of have to play with it see how I did that I just kind of finagled it together you know you'll notice that you can kind of turn the firing pin see look at the back see as I turn it how it comes out of line like that 
Well, you're kind of just turning it and finagling it to get it together. You kind of have to play with it. And see, see how I rotated this into that little slot? All right, and once you get that all together, you just hold everything, pull it back up to hear a click. You've got that that's in there. Make sure that's all right together. Make sure none of this is going to fall apart. And you'll see that the line across the back is generally straight, you know, with the firing pin. And there you have it. That's it.